right, and just about to start off the third round of the day at the Rugby Africa Solidarity Sevens Camp here in Stellenbosch. It's a beautiful day out here, not too much wind. Wind's going a little right to left. And to uh, kick off round one, we have Stellenbosch Academy of Sports Sevens Academy versus the Zimbabwe national team. Um, teams are busy lining up, approaching the, uh, the field to run on. I've had some exciting games today. This is going to be our last run of games. We have SUS versus Zim. Uh, following that, we have Blitzbox 2 versus Uganda and Blitzbox 1 versus Kenya. So don't go anywhere. We have three games for you to finish off day two of our tournament. Um, so we still have plenty of action on the way. So don't go anywhere. We're just about to get underway. So far, I've been in action back two days. And teams heading onto the pitch now to start off round three of fixtures today. Playing from left to right in the neon green, Zimbabwe. And uh, Sass on the right side in their black and red kit. Sass coming off of uh, quite a tough loss against Blitzbox 1. Uh, they're definitely going to look to fix some areas here and, and come right. Try and stick to their structure, play their systems. And um, last time, these two teams faced off. Saw Sus come away with a 28-10 victory. Should be interesting to see the adjustments made. Who comes away with the win this time? I'm sure Zimbabwe are going to look to uh, look to take this one back and make it one all on the on the scoreboard between Zimbabwe and Stellenbosch Academy of Sports Sevens. We are underway. It's a deeper restart. Not into the the Sus Sevens pod. Gonna carry, he's gonna go a little bit up to the outside. He's gonna try beat him. It's a great fend off. He's got some space. He's gonna back himself and look for support inside, outside. And he's gonna go all the way. That's a lovely start for Sass. I'll be very pleased for that. What a way to open the game. Kick off receive. No one else needed. And all the way in under the post. Great start for us. They can be very pleased with, with that. Some fantastic work. Really good awareness and a good fend off to get into that outside lane. Kick still to come. It looks like it's just short and pushed over to the right. So now we'll go to Sus. Kicking off on two. Zim. Lovely high restart. It's contestable for Sus. Good slap back if they can get onto it. But Zim are going to hold on to it, and that's a massive fend off. One pass to the outside, another. It's gone to hand. Zim have a really good opportunity here inside, outside. Switch doesn't stick. Sus over the ball. Still in penalty. Really good work there at the breakdown. Really sharp. And Great awareness to see that there's an opportunity to get over that ball. Oh, it's gone and it's thrown it away in contact. It's unfortunate. I don't think uh, Sus would be too pleased with that. But again, really good work at the breakdown. Great awareness to see the breakdown, see there's an opportunity, get over and um, turn defense into attack. Here we see the Sus Sevens bench. I'm sure they'll be all very eager to, uh, to get on the pitch get the opportunity to be seen. So middle scrum here for Sus, ball out to the right side. They've gone for 2-1 split. Just carrying it over and Zim over the ball. Looks like Sus managed to hang on ball out. They've got numbers to the left here if they can get it there. It's attacking the space. Taking on the angle again. Here goes Sus. He's after one. Oh, it's a great cover tackle from Zim. We're going to come here for what I think is a high tackle. And that's giving him a yellow card and there's coaching staff of Sus 7's. Definitely be looking for Sus to strike here at 7 on 6. We'll change the direction and the pass through the back. 
he's going to go out. That's not quite a Zim player. And Sass will have the option of the scrum for the line out. So far, our very first couple minutes of the first half. Quite exciting. We yet to see uh, Zimbabwe with the ball. It's just been Sass mostly with possession. We need to make the ball, they managed to get hold of it. Zimbabwe has possession in their own half. They definitely going to look to get out here and just try to find those mismatches, try to find the space, try to work the ball in that way. But it's been lost. A little off -load. there's some space now. They have the overlap. Zimbabwe with one or two missed tackles. And that's going to concede a try for them. They're not going to be very pleased with that. It shows in seven how important those first time tackles are. Just one small mistake can lead to you uh, leaking very easy points under the post. So Sass with two quick scores in the first half. We yet to see Zimbabwe have much possession. Conversion is good too. So that'll put Sass ahead at 12. Zimbabwe yet to score. Not as contestable as the rest of uh, Sass's kicks have been. Good little offload there. So Zim have the ball. Let's see if they can, they can come up with something here with ball in hand. They've got some space and some numbers. That's a great tackle from Sass. Really good tracking of the man there. They've got the ball back. Now Sass will have the opportunity to go again. Oh, it's, um, some clean feet here from Sass. It's a lovely step. Unfortunately, offload not going to hand, but wow. Some incredible footwork there. Comes incredibly hard to defend that kind of footwork. Really, really impressive. Quick and light. Very agile on his feet, so that's some lovely footwork. Looks like Zim are going to not go for the touch and looking to tap and go. Us. We need to connect together now as a defensive line. Don't want to get too opened up. And that's good work from Sus. Big pressure on them on the tap. Force the error. Unfortunately, just uh, coming off the Sus hand there on the, on the tackle. So it's going to be the Zim feet to the scrum. Just outside of their own 22. I don't get the impression they're, they're going to kick. They're going for a 2-1 split here, so they've got two on the blind side and one on the bigger part of the field. The ball's out, just been blocked out of scrum. Zim somehow managed to uh, hang on to it. Let's see a second phase, they're going to go straight up the middle. One or two missed tackles now gives Zimbabwe the opportunity. Running right, he's gone through. He's got a couple people chasing. He's throwing the ball back, looking for support. There's a missed tackle. It's another run again. Is anyone going to tackle? Jeez, absolutely smothered in contact. Luckily, the ball's rolled backwards, and uh, Zimbabwe will be able to pick up the ball and carry on. Don't know how Zimbabwe got away with the score there. But they've managed to somehow keep the ball alive, and they recycled it pretty well. And uh, one or two, one or two good bounces, and that's out of the score. And the conversion is good, so that brings the end of the first half with Sass leading with 12 points in Zimbabwe with seven. Good first half from both teams. Good positives and good negatives for both of them.
All right, and just about ready to get underway here in the second half. Uh, SAS, Stellenbosch Academy of Seven Sevens team. About to kick off onto Zimbabwe. They still ahead 12 7. And um, should have an exciting second half. Zimbabwe have looked pretty good with ball in hand, as have Sus. So it should be an uh, entertaining half. And joining me for the second half is ex Springbok and Saracen scrum half Neil de Kock. Neil, how are you doing? I'm very well, Josie. How are you? Oh, thanks. Great. All right, yeah, some exciting rugby. So happy to be back. And uh, Neil, you've played an important part in actually organizing this event, especially from Stellenbosch Academy of Sports side. Um, how's it been so far? Just watching them, Sass getting over the trial line here. Jay-Z, you want to take that? Jesus, it's a monstrous carry. Looked like Brian Santos. Huge carry, unfortunately, not being able to, uh, to dot it down there. They're going to have to come back for the for the scrum. It was a lovely effort and you know, re really physical from Sass. Sorry, back to your question, Jay-Z. It's been great being involved in, in organizing this tournament. Um, obviously, being on the playing pitch for many years and now stepping on the other side of the curtain has been quite a logistical challenge. But it's so great to see the teams out here and, and challenging. And Stellenbosch Academy of Sport are very happy to welcome all the teams here and have them play in this week. Ball out there from South Middle Scrum in the 22. Little ball to the inside. They're looking to crash it up the middle. It's Ori again. It's driven back there in contact. They're going to need to hold on to the ball here if they want to keep it. Penalty advantage and a quick pick around the fringes. Really good work from Sass. Spotting there's no block at the back of the breakdown. Just being able to pick up and uh, quickly snipe around the fringes. Really, really good awareness. Uh, Neil, you've done a couple, um, couple of those snipes in your days. Maybe a couple of snipes, none as success <laughs> successful as that one, but uh, yeah, I've been giving it a go over the years. Zell brings us a score to 19 with Zimbabwe behind by seven. And uh, it's a different game now. Zimbabwe are going to need to really uh, control this, this, this restart, hold on to the ball, and hopefully string a couple of phases together. Yeah, it's been quite an even matchup this um, watching Zimbabwe play against SAS Sevens. Um, they had quite a tight game yesterday, I think it was. So um, Zimbabwe, obviously, having chatted to some of the coaches, that you know they're looking to develop and, and really push on over the next three years. They've got quite a, a, a long-term plan. And Zimbabwe just not being able to quite hold on to it. So it's going to give SAS another opportunity to attack here with the ball. And ball in hand is Ori again. He's going to step to the outside. Defenders brought him down well. That's really good defensive work from Zim. They really need to keep those one-on-one -on -one tackles up, keep numbers on their feet. They're, um, that's really good work at the breakdown. They're not going to take a slow set piece. They're going to tap quick, try and keep the tempo up there. And um, Neil, I think uh, i got to give the opportunity to organize this whole event, and I know it's not possible without a lot of help and a lot of people, and especially... Um, our sponsors, is there anyone you'd like to thank? Yeah, Jay-Z, I see Zimbabwe look like they making some ground here. Yeah, it's been great. I, th I think World Rugby, Rugby Africa, South African Rugby Union, and as well as uh, Stellenbosch Academy of Sport have all come together. Oh, that's a monster of a carry from Zim. Sorry to interrupt you, Neil. They're definitely going to go under the sticks for that one. It's really, really good for physicality, and we've been wanting to see Zimbabwe with ball in hand, and um, at long last, we see them running up the field, carrying very well, beating a couple of tackles. So really good. That's going to bring the score to 12-19. And the conversion is good. It'll so be interesting to, to see how Zimbabwe react now, coming back to 1914. I think this morning we remember them against Uganda. They came up to within a score and they rushed a conversion and then messed up their kickoff. So I think a little bit of a cool head here will help them. And just to get possession and try and work their way up the field, still a long way to go in this game. Definitely so. So just about three and a half minutes left. Uh, Zimbabwe are going to definitely look to put the pressure here on Sas Sevens, hoping to um, pull the score back. And um, Neil, you were saying with your, your sponsors, you were, you were busy thanking. Yeah, I, I was just saying World Rugby, Rugby Africa, South African Rugby Union and Sas uh, Rugby have been critical in pulling this together, you know, obviously with our crowds. But then also we've got our sponsors, Thirsty, um, as well as APO, who is an official uh, partner of Rugby Africa, it's been fantastic. They've all been brilliant in helping me and helping us pull this together. 
Um, you know, obviously it's it's not been possible with crowds. It's obviously made logistics a lot easier, which has been I've been very grateful for. But yeah, we just want to uh, give a big thank you to to everyone I've just mentioned to allow these guys to come out and prepare and train for their respective tournaments and tournam um, the Olympics coming up. Definitely, and what a pivotal tournament for these teams. I mean, is there's not a lot of tournaments that can play at the moment, and it's a really great opportunity for the teams to come down to Salamosh, um, beautiful area, beautiful pitch, and just another opportunity to get back into rugby, and we're, we're so lucky we can be back. We've been waiting since, I believe it was March last year in Canada, was the last time these teams actually had a really good opportunity to square off. Yeah, it's been a long time coming, you know, and I think it's... Uh, it's, it's been a huge challenge for everyone and, and even now, you know, there's there's so much, I suppose, doubt around, you know, what's going to happen and is the Olympics going to take place and are these rep charge qualification tournaments going to take place, you know, but it's, the guys need to play and they need to compete. Speaking to Neil Powell of, of the South African squad, you know, training against each other and playing against each other week in and week out is just not the same. So to get the guys down here and competing against each other is, is a huge benefit for everyone and it's always a shame to see someone getting carried off like that you know in the build-up to these tournaments so hopefully the Zimbabwean player is going to be all right after this game hopefully so we get him some running repairs and having back on his feet for uh, for next weekend and um, if you haven't marked it in your calendar next next week we'll be playing on friday and saturday and um, we'll be having a second round and just as we say so there's Zimbabwe breaking free on the right side of the field diving in for a score this is really going to give us very, very good last two minutes. Uh, difficult conversion to come, so the scores are tied at 19 all. The right side, deep on the touchline. It's going to be a tricky uh, tricky conversion attempt. So we, I think we have a, a good uh, minute and a half left on our hands here, Neil. Yeah, what a great finish, as mentioned. You know, it's a, it's a real tight battle the, these two teams have had um, yesterday, and, and uh, obviously no different now. So 19 all, this is a huge kick. And the kick is no good to the right and short. It's going to give us 90 seconds of a bit of a battle here. And who's going to take it? I'm always fascinated by this, Jay-Z, because, uh, you know, I'm not a, from a sevens background. So, you know, do you hang on to the ball? you keep possession? Do you try and find space? You know, I'd be interested to see how these two teams manage this. But obviously, possession is going to be key here. Rightfully so. And um, it looks like Sasa spoiled possession. It's been knocked on by Zimbabwe, so Sasso has the feet to the scrum. Probably one of the last plays of the, of the game, but there's still enough time for, um, for Sass to, to finish off strong here. And, uh, and Neil, you've, uh, you've organized this whole thing, and I see you, you've put a lot of people to work. Is that, is that your, your son working as ball boy on the side? <laughs> yes, it is. Down the bottom, uh, we actually got Skull Fritz's son and my son. Um, one is at least wearing a rugby shirt, the other is wearing an Inter Milan <laughs> football shirt. I won't tell you which son is which. <laughs> oh, and here goes Sass, right through the middle, breaking through contact. Really, really strong fights up front. Sass need to hold on to the ball here if they're going to want to score. And there's the chip through, charged down. So Zimbabwe has got hands on the ball. And they've got the turnover penalty. And that was just the question I was asking, Jay-Z, you know, do you hang on to the ball? Do you go for gold and try and chip over? And I suppose that just answered my question. But we, we can justify the chips. Zimbabwe defend with no sweep at the back. So looking up, you're seeing space at the back. You can justify that. And here's Zimbabwe on the break. Someone has to bring him down. Lovely tackle there. Looks like Steph making the tackle, trying to get over the ball. Zimbabwe have numbers to the left if they can get it there. How kind is the bounce? It's all right. It sits up for Zim. Are they going to take him out? Ball's been kept alive. They need to make this tackle. He's still fighting through contact. He's beaten off one. Ball's out to the side. Step back and another offload. This will be the winning score for Zimbabwe. And over. What a great finish for Zimbabwe. Wow, they kept that ball in when you thought they were being... It actually took the touch judge out at the same time, or the AR. But uh, managed to get over for the winning score. Time up. Jeez. What a fantastic score for Zimbabwe. Really danced around, kept the ball in life, kept it in play. And um, for the conversion to come, that will be the game for us today. Neil, thank you so much for joining. And uh, good luck with the rest of the tournament. And um, thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much, Jay-Z. You're doing a great job. Keep it going. Cheers. Cheers.
And conversion left. That finishes the score at 24-19. Zimbabwe taking the victory in this one. In Zimbabwe and Sasso, one for one. And uh, we have a very exciting game coming up here. We have Blitzbox next versus Uganda. So don't go anywhere. We're starting off soon. Alright, and for match two of the final round of day two is Uganda and Blitbox 2. This is the third, fourth kind of place off from the seedings. And uh, should be an absolute great game. Winds kind of started to die down a bit. And it is hot as ever out there on the pitch. And both teams are definitely looking to make their mark here today in the Rugby Africa 7th Solidarity Camp. Looks like the Blitzbox 2 will be kicking off onto Uganda. Uganda have been looking really fantastic with ball in hand. Very exciting team to watch. While Blitzbox are clinical as ever. Very well rehearsed, very well trained side. So we still have this game and then after this game, we will still have Blitzbox 1 versus Kenya as the last game of the day for this leg of the tournament. The next leg being next week, Friday and Saturday. There's still plenty more action for you over the next week. A little good tap back there from Blitzbox. Uh, attempted for the, the grab it through from Uganda. Unfortunately, just missed it. A knock on there from Blitzbox. And Uganda will have the feed into the scrum. So early on opportunity here for Uganda. Left side of the field, just out of their own half. Definitely have a lot of space to work with here. Waiting the feed from Uganda, waiting for the scrum to settle and balls out for Uganda. It's one pass to the middle of the field. Now he's working onto his outside, looking for the switch, makes the dummy, tries to go through contact, but he's brought down and this box over the ball. And they've won the breakdown penalty. So that's turning defense to attack. Quick tap from this box, looking to speed the game up. And it's taken there short. Up balls out again. Oh, that's a lovely take there from MP out wide with one-handed catch. He's beaten his defender and he's gonna run in under the poles. Or over the line, rather, for the first score for the Blitzbox. That's going to put them 5 0 ahead. I'm sure Blitzbox will be happy with that uh, first score. Really good breakdown penalty. It's a great turnover. Spotting there's a bit of space on the outside, a quick tap, good handling, and good points for the start of the game. So that's two minutes gone, 
and the kick looks like it's just short had the direction just not the legs on that one and I'll bring the score to 5 nil to this box so Uganda here to field the kick they're really going to need to hold on to position here Lovely high kick. It's definitely going to be contestable. Oh, that's a fantastic take from Blitzbach. Oh, from Uganda, sorry. And the ball's out. A little step back to the inside pass. And just absolutely smothered in the tackle. Here's MP Fissett again, fighting through contact. Blitzbach's managed to hold on. They've got numbers on the left. If they can get the ball there. Skip pass over the top. Just lost it there. In the end, so that's the knock into touch. So that should give them the option of the line out or the scrum. Looks like Uganda will go for the line out. Okay, well it looks like it's going to be a scrum. So now. Uganda far right in the own 22. I don't think they're going to look to kick it out. A little bit scrappy out of the scrum. I need to try and hold on to it here. So there's the first pass out. They've worked it. A little step back. I need to hold on to the ball here. You definitely cannot give up the ball in your own 22. The short pop up. Fancy step. I'm just trying to be very confrontational against the blitz box and Uganda have some numbers on the outside a little switch back in that's opened up some space through the middle good offload it's not going to stick that's going to give the turnover blitz box now back in position with numbers to the outside it's carried to the line switch to the inside MP off the right foot he's brought down by Uganda it's good defense the ball is out so it's available for Uganda and now we're going to have a race to the end will he have the legs no, he's brought down and spilled it in the process. Ball's back to the blitz box. The ball's available, we can play. Looks like Aizen will uh, wait for his plays to get back. Oh, beautiful little grubber through and it's collected. Now we're going to have a sprint off again if he's going to make it in time. Oh, he's just going to shake off the, uh, the Ugandan defenders there. And put on blitz box, second score for the game. A little bit of back and forth, but a good piece of uh, heads up rugby, a bit of space at the back, and a lovely grabber that just sat up. Has uh, served all too well for the blitz box. <laughs> Still the conversion to come, and the conversion is good. We'll bring the score to 12. For Blitzbox and zero for Uganda so far. Just about two minutes left of the first half. Let's see if Blitzbox are going to go for the high and restart again. Wind looks like it's all of a sudden picked up a bit. High restart, very contestable. This box have managed to hang on to it. It looks like the ref's seen a bit of a knock in the process. So we're going to go back for the scrum. Uganda feed. Just off center of the middle. Should be inter interesting to see what set up they're going to go for here. Split fly off is slowly moving into the boot, favoring the right side. It's picked up and he's shifted it out left. There's only one man there for Uganda. He's carried it straight up in the middle of the field. Really good field positioning here for Uganda. Hopefully they can hang on to the ball, put some phases together. The ref's just giving a penalty, holding on to the ball. So Blitzbox will tap quick. Looks like it's the the name of the game for them at the moment. Quick taps, beautiful chip, and beautifully collected. Very unexpected from the forward there of Blitzbox. Looks like Ryan stays in. A really well-weighted chip and very well collected. Again, Uganda defending seven up, so no sweeper at the back. Just very difficult defensively to always 
get back in time for those kicks. You have to have one or two players who are constantly looking back and checking and making sure that uh, they're ready and waiting for a kick. That brings the score now to 19-0 to Blitzbox. Probably just have time for one more play here of the first half. Really hope uh, you can, can get some more ball in hand, hold on to it for a few more phases. Nice to kick. It's a little bit deeper, not as contestable this time for Blitzbox. Good step back there from Uganda. They've got cleaners at the breakdown. They should hold on to this. Balls out to first receiver, step back again, trying to carry it up the middle. Another now third phase for Uganda. A little fake switch play to the outside wide. One v two defenders there. Managed to hold on to the ball, it's looking much better now. Uganda going through a couple of the phases, looking for some space. He's beaten one. He's gonna step to the inside, try beat another. He's broken free, he's got support, switch to the inside. Can he make the use of the last defender? Another switch, smothered in the contact there. This box over the ball. That's fantastic work at the breakdown. Turning that over on their own 22. Really good awareness of the breakdown. And they're gonna slow it down here. Probably kick out if they've had enough. Looks like they'll go for the kick. That's the end of the first half. Some great defense there from Blitz Box. But lovely to see Uganda with ball in hand. And see the Blitz Box going into the half. 19 to none. Don't get anywhere. We've got the second half. Starting again shortly. Right, and just about to get the second half underway between Uganda and Blitzbox 2. Uganda playing from the right of the screen to left. They haven't found their way just yet. Still getting into things here. Hopefully the second half proves slightly more fruitful for them. It's a lovely high restart. Uganda have got a good chase on here. Oh, just knocked on. That was really good pressure from them. We uh, had some exciting play from Uganda. Ball in hand, you know, beating defenders, really, really working hard. And uh, fortunately, ball just not sticking here. So Blitzbox still ahead here in the game on the scoreboard. And uh, line out to them. Just outside their own 22, right side of the field. Looks like they're gonna go to MP. Balls come down and out to the first receiver. Kick through. This is definitely gonna be a foot race here and how the ball bounces. Not so kind for Uganda, but it's managed to sit up. Uganda have held on to the ball. Here's the pass. A little bit of traffic down the middle of the pitch. They're gonna need to clean that ruck very quickly if they're gonna wanna keep it. 
Looks like a Blitzbox player with off his feet, not supporting his body weight play to the left side. And Blitzbox not back 10 to Uganda. We'll have another penalty. We're going to need to slow it down here. Most likely we look to bring out something from the practice field here. There's a quick tap. Played the right. They're looking for some space here. There's a bit of a half gap he's spotted, gone through, looking for some support. A bit of space to the right. It's a little pick and go there, taking them on physically. Uganda playing much more direct now than out wide. Here we see two passes carry, two passes carry. Could be a bit of a tactic switch here. Uganda really attacking around the breakdown now. Two pickups in a row. And just being met with a lot of physicality from Blitzbox. Really starting to draw defenders in nearby. Playing very close to the breakdown. Not a lot of passing. Let's see how Uganda go here. There's a bigger pass looking to open up here. They have some numbers. There's a dummy the ball through and it's going to stick. Uganda will go over for their first score. Against a blitz box, really good work there. A couple phases up front and close near the breakdown, working the fringes, earning the right to go wide, and really good patience on attack. They work it through the phases, and they've managed to get a couple of good passes together in the end for their first point of the game. That brings the score up to five, still the conversion to come. And really good work from them just to be able to put some points together. Show a bit of patience and keep the ball in hand. They've done very well there. That kick is successful, so that brings their score to seven. Bitsbox still ahead with 19. So Uganda will now kick off again on to Bitsbox. This is about over four minutes left in the first half. the second half. We've got just under four minutes left of the second half. Oh, this box won't be happy with that. It's not something you see very often from the side. That's going to give Uganda another opportunity to just try and narrow the scoreboard ever so slightly. It's going to give them great field position. Usually they go with the 1-1 split with their fly-off sitting behind the scrum seen them use uh, today when they're in this sort of uh, location on the field so yeah they're going for that split up again one one on the other side and they're 10 in the boot behind the scrum looks like he'll make the decision unless the nine snipes the scrum's been turned around and looks like it's turned over for blitzbox so now they're going to attack again they've just gone for the intercept there but the ref is going to give a penalty for the knockdown looks like it's been deemed as intentional so he'll get the yellow card for the intentional knockdown. So that brings Uganda down to six players. Gonna make a little bit more work for them on defense, unfortunately, especially here on a rehearsed piece from the blitz box. Playing very direct here, yeah, very flat. Uganda's over the ball. Oh, that's beautiful. Well done by Uganda. They're down on numbers and he's managed to turn the ball over for them. Carried directly into Blitzbox. They're going to need to hold on to the ball here. He's got a knee on the ground. The tackle is going to have to release. Ball's recycled around the fringe. Good piece of footwork. Drop him on the switch. He's on his own. He's isolated. They're going to need to clean him off. Uh, good awareness there from Blitzbox. Another quick tap. Both teams really keeping the speed of the game here. The breakdown is becoming so well contested. Really, both teams are looking to capitalize at the, the breakdown. The forward pass and a knock on. Very cool, the knock on. And Uganda are going to have the feed into the scrum again. So, we've just got about a minute and a half to play here. So, not that much time left for Uganda. Hopefully, they can hold on to the ball, play a couple phases, and put together some more points for themselves. Looked really good with ball in hand. If they can just hang on for slightly longer, use the opportunity, and um, being caught quite often in isolation, it's making them 
concede a few more breakdown penalties than they would want to. You can just hang a little bit tight on each other, run those support lines, clear the breakdown and cycle the ball. They could really find themselves with some good opportunity. So we're going to have the scrum here. Uganda's feed into the ball. They only have six, so they've got just a fly half at a center out on the scrum. Bob Blitzbox will still have their three defenders, so it'll be quite tricky. Should be interesting to see what they what they manage to try and pull off here at the scrum. I think Blitzbox are definitely going to try and wheel that, that shoulder and get a left shoulder on them, just to make that pass to the first receiver just a little bit more difficult. And looks like this might be the last play of the game, just about 30 seconds left. And uh, don't go anywhere after this game. We have Blitzbox 1 versus Kenya, which is going to be our last game of the day. Should be just as exciting as this game. Ball out from Uganda. He's played short, step back to the inside. He's met with a lot of traffic and a lot of competition at the breakdown. Ball out to the fringe. Oh, so physical from both teams. The breakdown is becoming so essential for them. Uganda just looking for options. It's one player less. It's one less person to pass to out of seven. So options are short. We've gone wide, very direct lines. So that's lovely contact. Really good spot on tackle there from Blitzbox. Looking for the ball out wide, a little kick option. How's the bounce? Just fed straight into Blitzbox feet. Wow, two lovely steps to the inside. And he's through. Really good footwork, received the kick. Beat two defenders on the inside. And he's gone for under the stick. So really good work there from Blitzbox. Read the kick, turned, beat two defenders. Showed some great speed down the middle. It's going to give them another score. So their points are 24 to 7. Still conversion to come. This should be the last play of the game. Over, and that will be the end of the second last game of the day. 26 points to South Africa and 7 to Uganda. Uh, quite interesting fixture, unfortunate for Uganda's yellow card, but nonetheless. We're all here for preparation and for teams to get better and game time, so still move. And uh, the last game up next is SA1 versus Kenya. Should be a fascinating encounter. Really good game there between both sides, very physical. The breakdown was tightly contested, and uh, they'll have plenty, plenty more work to do leading up to the next week of games. But they've done exceptionally well. Uganda can be, can be rather happy with that performance. And for game three of day two of round three is our two top-seeded teams, Blitzbox 1 versus Kenya. This is bound to be a massive fixture for us here at the Rugby Africa Solidarity Sevens Camp. Can't wait to get this fixture underway for you. We'll have Blitzbox playing from right to left for the first half and Kenya playing from left to right in their black, white and red fit. And kicking off onto Blitzbox is Kenya. So far over the past two days has been exciting with ball in hand. Strong and fast, effective. They've managed to win one game against Blitzbox. That was yesterday, winning 19 12, if I remember correctly, and almost just getting up there for the ball. But we'll go back for the first knock from Kenya. I'm just going to give Blitzbox a feed to the, to the first scrum of the game. Scrum here for Blitzbox. They've got 
Look at their back line on the open side, no one on the blind. So ball's feeding from Bronco. Ball hasn't come out yet. A penalty there, so quick tap. We're not going to wait. And here we've got numbers on Blitzbox sides. There's a bit of space. Is he going to pass or go? He's going to back himself for the corner. And he's through. Incredible speed shown there by Blitzbox. Incredibly fast. Surprised the, the camera has kept up with that. It was all a blur. Showing a real clean pair of heels. Crazy acceleration. So, so fast there. Fantastic score there for Blitzbox. Real good awareness. Penalty opportunity. And straight through the gap. There's still a kick to come for Branku. Opportunity to make it 7-0. Nope. He's pulled that left. So the score remained 5-0 to Blitzbox. And Kenya await for the kickoff. kick but it's well fielded from Kenya really did well to hang on to the ball cutting across the field ball to the inside they've got some numbers to the left if they can work it there quick enough oh it's just a bit of a wild pass tricky to hang on to unfortunately knocked on so Blitzbock are going to get another scrum in a similar position just further upfield also on the right hand side I'm sure Kenya won't be hoping to concede another penalty in this area of the field. Such a low scrum. It's really impressive for three on three. The tightly contested area. Balls out to the left side. Another pass. Is it going to. Oh, it's a great spot tackle from Kenya. Really physical. Competing for the ball, but it looks like he was off his feet, diving on. Quick tap from Blitzbox. They're not going to wait for a set piece. They're going to keep working. There's a little inside run. One, two, three. Uh, Kenya just getting called there for being offside. Blitzbox are going to slow it down this time. Going to look to use the work of a set piece penalty. So it's probably going to be a rehearsed move here. Very tricky to defend. Kenya will put seven up on the line. The own 22. We often see seven teams not use a sweeper in the own 22. Just to have more men in the front line. So they've decided to go left. One, two, three passes. Wrapped up. Lovely tackle there from Kenya. They're going to need to stay on their feet and watch out for the fringes. Both box go over. Really good awareness. Looked up. Thought there was a bit of space on the left side. Quick pick up. Drawn pass. Let's box in for the second score of the game. Makes the score 10-0 to Blitzbox. Still with Dubria. Dubria with uh, another conversion opportunity from the from the same spot. Aren't giving him any easy conversions today. Opportunity to make it 12. And just going left there for conversion. So no good. Let's box ahead 10 0. Let's box looking to Kenya again. Lovely high restart, definitely contestable. Oh, looks like Kenya will hold on to it. There's no knock on, a little offloading contact, looking for support. They've got some space to work with here on the right side, working to the outside. Good handoff. He's put his man into space. It's going to be a race for the corner, stepping to the inside, brought down. Let's box. Then he get to compete at this breakdown. Quick ball, well recycled from Kenya. Pass just going a little over the top. And Kenya now. Still with ball in hand, keeping it through the phases. Really great to see offloading contact going down the side of the pitch. And not too sure what the call is there. I think it just put a foot into touch. And 
man. Just about a minute and a half remaining of the first half. Haven't seen this box make too many changes to the, the lineup yet. I'm sure they'll be looking to use that bench. Make sure everyone gets good game time. So we blitzbox feed to the lineout in the own, just outside their own 22. They've set their back line really, really wide here. Should be interesting to see if they're going to go for the kick or the run. Looks like they're going to try and play it out wide. There's enough space. Balls out to the wing. Oh, lovely defensive work there from Kenya. They've shot up. They saw they were going to go wide. Put pressure on. Balls out there from Blitzbox. So Kenya going to put pressure on them. Oh, and that's lovely. It's so confrontational here. He's over the ball and he's won the penalty in the opposition 22. Fantastic field position for Kenya. He's taken the tap quickly. Plays left. They have numbers. He's got options. Step back to the inside. He's just stopped short of the try line. And over. Kenya pick up a loose ball. Got it down. And they're in for another score. So that brings the game to 5-10. They should get this conversion. Making it a slightly, tightly contested affair. The kick is over. So that brings the score 7 to 10. And the first half is done. Leaves one half left for Uganda and Blitzbox to miss the round for the top seeded finish of the first weekend of the Rugby Africa Solidarity Sevens Camp. We'll be back soon. on for the second half. It's the last game of the day between Blitzbox and Kenya. It's been quite a tightly contested first half. Blitzbox ahead 10 and Kenya with 7. So both still have opportunity here to take the W. And Blitzbox will be playing from left to right on your screen, kicking off and Kenya receiving. <laughs> box looks like they will go to the right. Tightly contested. It's a high ball. Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, Kenya, unfortunately, just spilling it. And we'll go back to the knock on. They tightly contested the breakdown. Let's box didn't get any advantage, so we'll go for the scrum. Let's box ball right side of the field. Scrum have been really, really operating like a well oiled, oiled machine on set piece. It should be interesting, interesting to see what they manage to work here. So it's a quick pick up. It's a ball out the back. Trying to create a two on one mismatch. Ball is good. And Blitzbox will score. As I just mentioned, really dangerous on set piece. Extremely well rehearsed. 
and scoring off first phase of his set piece. It's just fantastic work from them. Everyone knew where they needed to be. And they've done really well there to strike just outside the opposition 22 and convert the set piece into points. So really good attack there. Really fast, extremely difficult to defend. That leaves Bronco to clear with the conversion on the left side of the field. And over will be his first conversion of the game. So that brings the score to 17 to Blitzbox and 7 for Kenya. Kenya will definitely look to try and hold on to the ball from the kickoff here. This looks like it's been spilled there. A little bit messy. Not too sure who got on the end of it. But the refs called a knock on from Blitzbox will give Kenya the input to the scrum. Just outside of their own 22. Scrum here for Kenya. Balls fed in. The stable scrum is held on. And they'll get the penalty there for wheeling around. So quick tap from Kenya. They're not going to waste any time. Ball's out, it's into the middle of the pitch. It's gonna work to the outside of his defender. No switch in, he's beat the defender. He's got space, he needs support. Has he got someone to pass to? Oh, it's going straight and true. He hasn't got through, so can they keep the ball? They're gonna try a quick recycle. Unfortunately, just a knock on this. They're not gonna be able to get it to the wing. It's a lovely attacking promise there for Kenya. Did well to get around. Just needed that last runner to, to run on this inside. Fortunately, he wasn't there. We'll go for the scrum for Blitzbox. Again, middle of the pitch. Looks like quite a split setup. Again, most likely going to see something very well rehearsed here from Blitzbox. Tricky to defend for the Kenyans. Look like they're favoring the left side of the scrum. And balls out. Picked up by nine. Play to the left side. He has options now on the inside and the outside. He's showing it goes. Brought down by the Kenyan defense. This box have numbers to the right side if they can keep working the ball. This Christy Krobla puts the ball in the foot. There's no sweep at the back. He's gonna run through and chase himself. Is it gonna sit up? Yes. Lovely bit of individual work. Saw some space at the back. He's put the ball through on the foot. And it's set up beautifully for him. So that'll be contribution to the scoreboard that brings it to 22 points to Blitzbox. Kenya still on seven, the conversion to come. That was just some really great heads up rugby there. Got on, saw there was a bit of space at the back, put the ball down. And luckily it's set up for him. Conversion's over. Just about two minutes left of the second half. The last game of the day. And if you've been with us for the whole day, uh, thank you for sticking with us. It's been an action-packed day. This isn't our only weekend of fixtures. Next weekend, on the 14th and the 15th of May, we'll have day three and four of the Solidarity Sevens Camp, hosted by Rugby Africa. So if you haven't had your sevens fix yet, there'll be plenty more. Kenya holding on to the ball here. It's bounced in their favor. Tackler has to release. Kenya going to want to recycle this ball soon. They've given Blitzbox enough time to organize defense. Pass. It's not ideal, but they've managed to hold on to it. Working out to the outside. It's Kenya gone for the switch inside. Read well by the Blitzbox defense. Ball picked up again. It's a bit loose and scrappy. Blitzbox pick it up. And that'll be one of the easier tries that Ronald will score. Sure, he'll say thanks for that. That's just going to put this score up 29 points to 7. Another 
another conversion to come, an opportunity to further the distance between these two teams. The kick is over. It's a lovely conversion. The wind's picked up a bit, making it ever so slightly more difficult. It's managed to, uh, to still put extra points on the board. So that's box with what will most likely be the last kickoff of the game. So Kenya get one more opportunity to roll the dice. It's gone slightly shorter and looks like it was knocked, but Kenya's come out with it. Slightly scrappy, but they've got it. He's working to the outside. Oh, it's a lovely, strong physical carry from Kenya. The cleaners are there. The tackler's going to need to release. Ball's recycled. Penalty. It's a quick tap for Kenya. Playing up forward again from them carried on now is working the blind side they've got one or two numbers here a little chip down trying to get behind the blitz box defense and very calm and coolly kicked out by Bronco he's happy with that to end the game there and we will call it at 31 points to blitz box 7 to Kenya it's a thrilling encounter really big performances from both teams over the past few days and what a tournament we've had so far Thank you for joining us. This has been Rugby Africa's seventh Solidarity Camp broadcast. My name is Johan Zeil. I'll be looking after you next week as well when we get back on Friday at 9 o'clock with day three. Following that on Saturday, day four. Be sure not to miss out. There'll be plenty of action. Until then, enjoy the rest of your Sundays. <laughs>